Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new, I'm so over the moon that you found me. And if you've been here before, oh my God, you came back. My name is Alonda Carter and I am the Recovering Hunbot. I create daily anti-MLM videos, which include stories shared with me through my Google form. Link to that in the description. Examine what Huns are doing on social media. And I also do deep dives into specific MLMs. So if you enjoy anti-MLM content, then you might want to consider subscribing. I hope wherever you are, you're having a fabulous day. It's starting to get chilly here. Don't laugh. I mean, it's like in the 70s, but it's going to get like in the 50s, I think. So for us here, you know, that's that's cold, <laughs> kind of, sort of, well, cooler. Anyway, um, I just hope you're doing well wherever you are and having a great day. Today's video addresses how some people involved in an MLM slide down the slippery slope of deception, only to then rise up in the MLM. So if this sounds like something that you might want to hear about, kind of interesting or anything, grab some coffee, grab some tea, whatever floats your boat, and come with me. My place is still all torn up from the water leak that happened earlier this week, and I'm expecting someone here to start doing some painting or something, but so who knows if I'm going to be interrupted, but we're just going to press ahead, okay? Okay, so I was thinking about some things and just going to share with you. You know, the standard of beauty for women, it's very difficult to live up to. Everyone wants to be thin and have beautiful skin like forever, right? Come on, don't tell me that you don't desire that. As women, we, we all want to look absolutely fabulous all the time. And as you age, you know, achieving that, you know, anything close to the quote standard becomes challenging. People involved in health and wellness and also in beauty MLMs I think can be very sneaky and just flat out dishonest. The overall problem starts with the impossible business model, which itself is built on deception. It follows then to climb to the top that people will slide down that, you know, deceit slope, so to speak, to experience quote success in the business. In my opinion, when you swim in a cesspool, you are bound to get dirty. And you know, the longer you swim there, you're just going to get dirtier. Chalupa is playing in here, so you might hear him. So side note on that, he just found his favorite toy. Anyway, um, the intent of this video is to call out some of the trickery that I see people stooping to. He is just going to town, guys. I mean, flapping that little toy everywhere. What I think that people forget, you know, is that what they're doing is fundamentally damaging to themselves. You know, when you're lying and deceitful, you're damaging yourself first, but then you're also damaging other people. You know, anyone who looks up to you because you're, you know, saying that that kind of behavior is okay. And, you know, beyond that, if you have kids, then your kids are going to pick up if you are being dishonest. So you might recall that I did a video about Monique. Well, in a sense, this is a follow-up to that because I'm drawing from that content that is put out about her and that she puts out. This appeared on Reddit. I wrote briefly last week about my stint with Unique. After a huge poop show the past few days, I have finally cut all ties with Unique. I will tell anyone that is part of the Unique quote, family, that cutting ties after several years is much like a dirty, nasty, ugly divorce. People will choose sides and it probably will not be your side. People will talk a lot about you behind your back, but will not say it to your face and people will just downright treat you like a piece of dog poop on the bottom of their shoe. People who you thought were your friends, people that you generally care for, people that you thought were in your court, Notice I put family in quotation marks. This is not family. It is not even a friendship. You are only valuable to these people through sales. You are a money sign, nothing more and nothing less. I just want anyone who is thinking of throwing in the towel. I know you put in a lot of work to grow your personal business. I know you sacrificed a lot of family time between lives and promoting, but you will and you can get a job that will value you. 
a job that will make you feel like a productive part of society, a job that when your friends see you coming, they will stop and speak to you without the fear of being bombarded with fake sales pitches. All these predatory selling behaviors are taught, not only taught, but enforced. Maybe more like brainwashing. Just know that if you are thinking about leaving the company, it may get ugly, but at the end of it all, you will be a better person for leaving. Also, anyone in the business still that may post on here, please, for the love of God, vent away, validate your suspicions, but please never admit to any of it. Much like a cult, free speech is no longer a part of your lifestyle while with this company, and sadly, you will be all but stoned to death because of it. Monique has snoops. Just wow. Wow. Okay. I will say that anyone in any MLM goes through everything that the OP stated. It feels amazing when you join and it feels like family. And for me as an only adopted child, a sense of family was something that I always wanted. I felt accepted and loved. There's a lot of people that I still care about that I met when I was a beach body hunt, but we don't really talk now. And for me, I was able to slip away because I was not actively hunting when I decided that, you know, enough was enough. When anti MLM stuff came across my recommended on YouTube and I started binging it. I have seen the cattiness and how people turn on each other. And you know, when you are a Han that has no rank and aspiring to build a team, you are insulted when someone doubts or leaves. I know I was. I was totally twisted up with the belief in the opportunity because that crap is fed to you over and over and over again. Work hard and you will succeed. But like the OP says, you are a dollar sign. You are not anything to anyone other than a cog in the MLM wheel. We are living in a world where it is easier to visually deceive people and I find that really troublesome. In health and wellness MLMs, before and after, you know, transformations can be fake based on how you stand and the lighting and everything. Plus, you can alter your image as you wish. I never did this when I was a hunt. I had honest transformations If you know, I don't know if you, even though I was hunting, you know, I, 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 what I put out, it was real. You know, even if the business model I was following was completely flawed, I was being honest in what I was doing. I wasn't, you know, changing things up. And me being me, I never considered doctoring transformations or faking it in any way. I mean, I, and that just, it, I'm not surprised by it, but yet I am. I'm not perfect. I mean, you know, I'm pretty darn honest, I think, but you know, it never entered my mind that I thought, wow, I can alter my image or that other people were doing that. I know, I know, I know. Naive, right? Naive for today's world. Anyway, this video focuses on unique images, most of all, and how people are not honest, specifically exposes how Monique manipulates people's visual perception. This image appeared on Monique's profile and I've seen it all over Reddit too. Monique's post says, sit down. This is a 30 day before and after she followed the regime I sent her and look where we are. Can you believe this? Now she understands why I'm so vocal about skincare. You can get her exact protocol by purchasing as a customer or purchasing a presenter kit and then saving 20% on all future purchases. Peep comments for each category. Please take skincare seriously. It is the make or break of makeup. Okay, what do you think? Do you believe this shows actual results? Personally, I don't. When I look at you know, this image is, I think, well, gee, the, the lighting isn't the same. The angle isn't exactly the same either. And then when you like, you know, kind of like zoom in and stuff, you can see that it, it just, it looks like the one on the right has, you know, been through some kind of alteration, kind of smoothing out of things, shall we see, and not from the use of product. 
Okay, I'm gonna give you some of my personal experience. I think about my mom when I look at this gal that I just showed you. Um, and back in the day when I was a makeup artist and then became an account coordinator for prescriptives, honestly, I have always, always, always loved prescriptives products, you know. I always thought they were great. I think um, they were very ahead of their time too. Anywho, my mom was very beautiful and when I worked for Prescriptive, she was in uh, like her mid to late 60s, I want to say, and her skin was aged, you know, it was. It looked a lot like the before picture. So I'm going to just drop a truth bomb here. The only way to slow down the aging process is to take care of your skin starting at an early age. A skincare regime in place. Now, you don't have to go out and spend a bazillion dollars on stuff. You just need to, you know, I mean, just with some stuff even from Walgreens. And then avoid the sun. Wear a hat and sunglasses and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Do something to avoid the damage. So several months ago, someone that I know, a really, really beautiful girl, posted that she was going to start using eye cream. And I want to say she's in her late 20s, maybe early 30s. But the thing is, if you've been a sun worshiper, maybe you're not seeing the damage right now at that age, you know? But the damage is done. Sure, go ahead and start a regime, but realize you should have been doing this when you started like at age 12 or 13. That's when I started taking care of my skin with like when I was really, really young. And one of my favorite products really that I like to use is fractionated coconut oil. Fabulous for eye makeup remover, just an FYI. I don't know about any product that can topically make a difference like what that image showed. I remember when Line Preventer was first introduced and did it change my mom's face because of it? Mm, no, it didn't. Anytime you apply a product on dry skin, there's going to be a, an immediate change, you know, some kind of an adjustment because it's soaking in moisture. But the results that were shared, I just don't buy it and I'm not the only one. There's plenty of people that are questioning something like this. I find showing this type of before and after to be very misleading and a way to scam people. There are a bazillion skincare lines out there, and if one was the holy grail which sent the hands of time backwards, don't you think we'd all know about it? Like I said, I'm not the only one who was like, ah, not so sure about all that. So this is an exchange between Monique and somebody who is questioning Monique's, you know, the results. And, you know, it gets better because there's like more stuff. So this is someone asking a question. I just really believe that we have to control for all variables when we are presenting evidence. Otherwise, it might seem like we are presenting something less than truthful. And I know that's not what you would want. In this case, I'd love to see a pic where the lighting in the eyes is the same. Just my stupid science brain. Ha ha, lol. This is Monique's response. Unfortunately, that is not possible when you are dealing with normal people in a non-professional setting. This is not a controlled study. This is just a person taking pictures on their cell phone. If you don't believe, that is totally fine, but questioning her results because you don't believe them is not right. These are real results, real results from real people, period. I am so thankful that she felt comfortable enough to share here. If you don't believe her, then please don't comment or message me privately. That is disrespectful to someone that felt vulnerable to share results and hopes that will help others. And this was posted over on Reddit, saying it's not possible for normal people in non-professional setting is also BS. Pick your time of day and place that ensures lighting is the same. Use the same pose. Don't furrow your eyebrows or raise them if you didn't do that the first time. If you had a light bulb that was white daylight the first time you took the photo don't change it to a soft yellow cast bulb for the second, etc. People that do this with weight loss by adjusting their posture also have control over that. I suspect sometimes people really want there to be results beyond what they actually see, and then you get things like this. But it doesn't help anyone, not themselves, and not other people looking for results. And I agree. I mean, you know, be honest post something that is truthful. Don't 
doctor it because then you're just misleading people. And to me, that feeds into, you know, women who have are bombarded with the standards of beauty. That makes you feel like you're less than if you don't have like these fabulous results, if you don't get rid of the lines and everything, that you're somehow, you know, you're not going to be considered attractive, which I think is just crap, but I digress. These are more comments about the same image. Mm, facelift, mm, read the comment above yours. The skincare works. If you don't believe, move on. I'm so appreciative that this person in the photograph was vulnerable enough to allow me to share her results. Don't be disrespectful. They're so shameful to her and the other women on this page. We do kindness here only. I'm sorry that I came across disrespectful. I really am, but I cannot imagine a serum or cream producing such an incredible outcome. This is the fountain of youth. I'm considering a lower facelift with my upper and lower eyes done also. It's going to cost like $14,000. If I can buy this and get the same results sold. It's not a facelift, but it's very clearly different lighting. Put a flashlight under your chin and then aim it straight or say pa la rocket science. I post before and after pictures all the time. This is not an anomaly. I know because you don't believe it doesn't make it true. There is tangible evidence in front of your eyes. Also, it's not just a serum or cream. It is a commitment. It's a complete and utter morning and night process. No skip days. This person had an open mind and committed. I will be honest, if you want quick results, and I think you do, if you're headed towards the surgery path, then you won't commit and allow the skincare to work. It works. I have proof and countless women in my group do too. If you'd like to see more pictures or would like to talk, please message me. Okay, let's just say yes, any skincare regime is a commitment. And you know, <laughs> really, I go back to deep lines and wrinkles there is no topical anything that's going to reverse that. I find this to be so deceptive. Sure, you can have some degree of results, you know, when you start a new skincare, especially if you really haven't been doing much of anything, then you, you, you may see something like, wow, there, there's a lot of change, but that degree, you're just not going to see that degree. Now, this was, I believe this was in, um, read it somewhere. And this is Monique, which is, you know, don't want to really show exactly who she is. But if you zoom in here, you will notice that on the right hand side, features are blurred out. Features do not get blurred out when you take a picture. If you use a filter, if you're using some face tuning or some Photoshop or something, sure. So to me, it really looks like she is trying to make things look that they, that the results are better than what they actually are. And imagine if you're a woman and you get the products and you're not seeing the same results, but then you're wanting to see something. Don't you think psychologically that if you are going to share your before and after that you're going to do something so that the image is a little less honest, you know? This is also from Reddit. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with mature skin. We all age. What is harmful though, is to be dishonest with the results of the products you use. I've seen, you know, people talk about filters that she's using, you know, during her lives. And most definitely is doing some face tuning afterwards when, you know, the look is shown. An example of that is coming up. But again, if you zoom in, you're going to see things like the skin is blurry. Skin does not naturally get blurry. And you know, honestly, when I see pictures of her, the real her, I was like, you know, you still look good, girl, but you're giving people the wrong idea that they're going to get miraculous results. No skin care line can do that. Okay, on the left, this was taken. This was also from Reddit. This was posted um, from her live. And then you look at the picture on the right. Huh. Is there a change? The lighting is different, most definitely. But I mean, the makeup is not as dark. And when you zoom in, again, you can see how there's like the skin is smoothed out. You know, that skin does not smooth out like that. It just doesn't. Okay, the one on the left is from July 2018. And the one on the right is from October 2019. Now, 
I mean, I look at this woman on the left. I mean, she looks like a, a, a regular gal for her age. Nothing wrong with that at all. No skincare is going to give you results on the right hand side. Honestly, it's, it's, it's just not. You can just tell that it has been altered. And yet she won't admit that she alters anything. And I know she lost some weight. And to me, she looked fine before, you know, really. But now it's like, I just feel like she's going to such extremes to deceive people. And that's what I find so bothering. Okay, on the left, this is a before and after picture. This is early on in her becoming a unique hun. And look, there, there is some change, you know, but this looks more normalized than like what we're seeing on the right hand side. That difference is staggering. If you look at the picture on the far left and the one on the far right, nothing is going to reverse time in that way. Can you get some results? Yes, you can, but not to where everything is just like, you know what, we're erasing everything. It's just very different, you know? It really looks very obvious that she's manipulating the images. Monique was doing daily live videos, but she recently changed up to three days a week. Each video runs somewhere between three to four hours. I am not kidding about that. And typically there's about 200 to 400 people watching at any one time. Most people cannot pull off being on camera that long. I mean, you know, and honestly, how much time do you really need to put on makeup? However, she uses her lives as a way to build community of her devout followers. You know, and Facebook wants you to stay on their platform. So, you know, she gets views. So even though post after post after post is about sales, and even though her lives are about selling her stuff, Facebook is allowing it, in my opinion, because people are staying on the platform. And think about it. She has hours to indoctrinate these other people into her mindset and into the overall lie that all MLMs tell. She subtly encourages people to join. And now that Unique has this new kit that doesn't require you to give your social security number right away. I talked about that, I wanna say in yesterday's video. She and other presenters are using it as a makeup bundle. But once you buy it, technically you're part of her downline, but you're not going to um, you know, get a 1099 until you sell, until you receive $600 worth of um, payment from them because you sold a lot of makeup. Now I wanna say the Kiki channel did something on Unique and I want to say that to, to earn $2,000, I think you need to like sell $10,000 worth of makeup or something like that. So, I mean, it's, it's for people to be able to do that. Myself, when I was with prescriptives, I could get women that I did makeovers on to buy six to $800 at a time. I mean, I really could do that. I didn't get the commission, the person behind the counter did, but yes, I sold a lot of products to people but the amount of product that she would have to sell every single day is just astounding. Monique has been involved also with some controversial videos related to children who have cancer. And these have been reported to Unique Compliance. However, Compliance has not taken a stand against her and why? She brings in revenue for the company. Facebook benefits from her because it's keeping people on the platform. Here are some examples of the very salesy post and I will try to zoom in on these so you can see it. I'm not going to read it all because it's, that would just take like forever but I just want to give you some examples. So okay this one right here top left this one is encouraging people to go to her link and make a purchase. I would say that's really uh, salesy yeah right. Okay the middle one here with the live in 15 these, I believe, are items for the October kudos, which I think kudos is just for customers. So you unique presenters, let me know, is that correct? Kudos, you can get those after you become a customer. I don't know if you can just get a kudos without being a customer, if that can be your initial purchase. I'm not really clear on that. And this is $99 for, to get four items. Kind of pricey if you ask me for the four items. No. Okay, on the right side, 
I'm not going to be able to cover all of this, but these are testimonials about the beads that she shills, which, you know, claim to have, like help all kinds of things, including, you know, weight loss. And, you know, I, myself, I do like, you know, some alternative type things to try, but, you know, to keep putting this kind of stuff out, I just really feel that it's reckless. Not only that, these beads aren't that special. You can get them for a lot less than what her Resolute collection is, which that one is $3.55. Okay, on the bottom right, again, she provides a link to purchase, you know, the palette that she loves. Ever so salesy, you know, ever so salesy. And the bottom middle one is a plug for skincare and a makeup bundle. The makeup one is really the new presenter kit, but apparently you can now get this kit without becoming technically a presenter because you don't give out your social security number, even though you are a presenter and you do go in her downline, you just don't get a 1099. And you never do from any company. You never get a 1099 until you make $600, but they're not gonna ask you for your social security number. And she's also hawking at the same time this little meet and greet that she's having, a happy hour hustle, which you can attend for $75. Plus, you can also get that Resolute collection, those bracelets, which are $3.55, and you can get a 20% discount. So all of that, kind of on the salesy side, if you ask me, kind of on the pushy side, if you ask me, just one gal's opinion. I've seen pictures of Monique and her family pre-unique. And to me, she looks very different. I, I think she looks happier and just like a regular woman, you know, before all the unique stuff. In my opinion, she uses the MLM propaganda, the story of, you know, anyone can do this business and become successful. And she is absolutely worshipped by her followers to the point that they will allegedly bully anyone who questions anything she has to say or if you question her or go against what she says, she immediately just blocks you rather than have dialogue. To me, people like her are dangerous. People are spending money on these magical beads that she slings in addition to anything else that she promotes. On her live today, I heard something that really horrified me and she just said that she doesn't recommend mammograms. Now, I am a breast cancer survivor, and if I did not have a 3D mammogram, what I had would not have been discovered. She recommends what's called a thermogram, and there's a link to this in the description. And you know, the FDA you know, speaks out against doing that. That's not been proven to be better or anything. It's like, you'd really have to just check out the what the um, article says because it's been a minute between when I read it because I got interrupted when I was making this video. So check it out. That's you know gonna be in the description again. But what worries me is the women who are watching her, how many might not get a mammogram because she says don't do it? That I think is just so dangerous because when people get wrapped up in someone like her, they just follow along, you know, without thinking because their critical thinking capacity has been erased. This is um, comes from the subreddit that's devoted to her. And so this is allegedly an example of like her behavior. So someone's kind of like recapping all of this, okay? Here's an example of how crooked her games are. Example, they announced Monique and this other person will host Plinko Game on a given date about two weeks from now. Inform everyone they need to add their name and pay for their spot in the game ahead of time. I don't have exact numbers written down, so remember this is just an example. Apparently, 100 women enter their names and pay $30 for their spot. So now Monique has $3,000. She then orders makeup or brushes or items that cost between $25 and $30. There may be one or two items that are slightly more expensive, but not many. There are items that are also of less value. So basically, each gal is gambling and hoping that the item she wins turns out to be a bit more than what she paid. 
but there are no real winners except for Monique. Monique orders the items from her account, her unique account, and let's say she spends the entire $3,000 that the women sent in. Monique will get at least 25% back in commissions. Pretty easy income. 25% of $3,000 is $750. And on top of that, the $3,000 gets added to her total sales for the month, making it appear she worked harder at selling. She is making a fool of all the women who sign up for the game and laughing all the way to the bank. And notice how lazy she is. She has someone else write down the names and prizes to assist her, and she has this other person do most of the work running the game. Is Monique the only person in Unique running such scams. I doubt it. What about people in other MLMs? In my opinion, I think it goes back to if you will lie down with dogs, you might pick up fleas. Corruption breeds corruption. The MLM business model is corrupt and flawed, as is Monique. You guys, scammers are everywhere. The best thing I can say is be aware. For instance, when we used to live in Midtown, literally daily, I was harassed when I walked the dogs by people who were trying to get a handout. We lived a couple of blocks from the Greyhound bus station, so there were like these transient kind of, you know, homeless people that would be around. And their scam was really, really super simple to spot. But boy, was it annoying as all get out like every single day dealing with that, hence we moved. <laughs> Companies using the MLM business model spend a lot of money to make it appear that everything is legit. And they have people like Monique doing much of their dirty work to bring in more people into the fold. And platforms like Facebook allow questionable behavior if it helps them. Make sense? If you enjoy anti-MLM content, I hope you'll consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. I really am so grateful for the time that you spend with me. And remember, if we want there to be change, it's up to us to share our stories and get the word out. If you have an MLM story, I'd love to capture it. Just, you know, use my Google form. And if you know someone who has an MLM story, please encourage them to share it. You can share my form with them. I invite you to file a report with the FTC, the SEC, and your state authorities. For me, it's the Attorney General, but for you, it could be different, so Google that. Most people just want to go into that good night and, you know, put the entire MLM experience behind them, and I get that, but MLMs are counting on the fact that you will not take action. But just imagine if all these governmental entities started getting a report and a complaint, just one, every single day about every single MLM, Monday through Friday, don't you think that'd be a very powerful and clear message that there's something rotten in Denmark? And remember, change starts now.